Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about the Power BI service interface. So when we log into the Power BI service, which is the web component of Power BI, so when you publish your Power BI desktop, you normally share them via the Power BI service. So we'll just look at the interface and I've got a few screenshots, I'll take you through them and then we'll go through the interface itself. So typically when you log into the Power BI service, you can see on the left hand side is the navigation pane here. And it contains the home tab you can create content you can browse you can um, go through all the contents on the left hand side and then you've got workspaces so the content is uh, divided into workspaces or uh, we put our content or dashboards reports uh, into workspaces and then we share them so people have access uh, to those shared workspaces and that's how we collaborate so uh, let's say i click on a workspace in this case i've clicked on pl300 it gives you the option to add content so you can add content either via the get data table on sorry get data on the left hand side here or you can click on the add content and then add more data in so so but this interface is only available to you when you log into a new workspace it's not available to you when it's an existing workspace so i'll show you how, what i mean uh, again and then there are work who has access and then you can say somebody has a contributor access somebody has a just uh, a read access so uh, you can you can set access for multiple uh, people depending on what role you want them to have and then you've got all these power bi apps so you've got the power bi so in this case i have access to power bi security compliance add-ins admin if you have access to maybe uh, office or other app, office 365 app or other microsoft apps they would become visible here so I'll just escape out of this and we'll quickly go to the Power BI service because I'm logged in there. And I, when I click on the home tab, because I already have a lot of content, it is showing me the content that I have. And then it shows me the recent, my favorites, my apps. And then I can go and browse on the left hand side. So I'll just show you, I have multiple workspaces here I've used. So uh, let's say I'll click on an existing one, which is called the Power BI service. And you can see I've got content here and you can see I've got a report, I've got a data set and I've got a dashboard. So uh, typically in a, in a workspace you store either a report, a data set or a dashboard. Now let's say I, I've got a new uh, a workspace which I've created specifically for this demo. It's called PL300. So it doesn't have any uh, content. So then that's why this add content button becomes available to me get data is always available and then i click on the new button i can create a report a generated report and there are multiple options available to me and then on on the top you can see there are multiple workspace options available so i can view in the list mode or the lineage mode i can go to the settings and it shows me these are the workspace settings whether it's a premium workspace or not um, I, I can change access here so i can add people so I'm the admin, I can add a member, I can add a contributor, I can add a viewer, or I can make someone an admin. So those kind of options exist for me. Then I can obviously search for content which is available in this workspace. And then on the right hand side, on my profile, you can see. So if I click on it, I've got uh, the various options that I have. And then if I cl click on these three dots, it's another settings where I can go and click on if i've got any gateways how to manage the admin portal manage groups and so on and so forth now if i keep scrolling to the left you can see i've got these uh, uh, dots nine dots so if i click here it shows me what other apps i have access to so this is what i i meant when when i said you can also access your apps using the power the power uh, this option so that's pretty much it this is what we've covered in the power bi service and we'll we'll take this uh, topics in more detail in the uh, videos that follow uh, this is just to give you a quick peek into the interface for the power bi service i hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what i'm doing I would be keen to hear from you if you've got any specific uh, topics that you uh, want to discuss. Cheers. Bye.